Welcome guys, this is Gagan from LifeLearnings.com. This is the 11th tutorial of PIC 16F886. In this video tutorial, we will learn how we can connect switches to a microcontroller. First, we will discuss the switch configuration in pull-up and pull-down mode. Then, we will see how we can configure a microcontroller's pin for input. And then, we will use if and else structure to check the state of the switch. On the left hand side, the switch 1 terminal is connected to ground and other terminal of the switch is connected to a 10 kilo ohm resistor and the resistor is connected to a 5 volt supply. On the right hand side switch 2 is connected to 5 volt source and the other end of the switch is connected to a 10 kilo ohm resistance and the other end of the resistance is connected to a ground signal. I use a DC voltmeter to observe the change in state. When you run the simulation you will get a 5 volt signal when the switch 1 is not pressed on this left hand side circuit and you will get a 0 volt signal on the right hand side circuit when the switch 2 is not pressed. So when I press this switch 1 I will get a 0 volt signal and if I release the switch I will get a 5 volt signal. If I press this switch 2 I will get a 5 volt signal and if I release the switch 2 I will get a 0 volt signal. So in this way we have two configurations to connect a switch to a microcontroller. We can use either this pull up configuration or we can use this pull down configuration. Now I arrange the circuit like this. I connect two LEDs LED1 and LED2 to pin RB6 and RB7 of PIC 16F886. I connect switch 1 to RB4 and switch 2 to RB5. So I want to write a program when I press this switch 1 I will toggle this LED 1 and if I press switch 2 I will toggle this second LED. Remember that when we press the switch 1 we will get a low signal and when we release the switch 1 we will get a high signal and when we will press this switch 2 we will get a high signal and when we will release the switch 2 we will get a zero signal. For the programming part first I have to declare the names to the switch switches and LEDs. In programming I first define a user defined name to RB4 which is used for switch 1. Switch 2 is connected to RB5, LED1 is connected to RB6 and LED2 is connected to RB7 pin of port B. Then I define the names to twist B4 and twist B5 bits which will define the direction of switch 1 and switch 2 as an input. Then I define the names for twist B6 and twist B7 for LD1 and LED2 to make them as an output. We know that the switches are input devices and we need to configure the port pins as an input. That's why I define the direction for switch 1 and switch 2 is equal to 1 which will configure the pins for input. LEDs are output devices so we have to configure the LED pins as an output. Disable the analog channels on port B by using ANSELH resistor. Then create an infinite loop with while 1 and we will write all the instructions to check the state of switch under this infinite loop. I create one if condition and with this if condition I am checking the switch 1 state and this is the equality operator. So if the switch 1 is equal to 0 we have to toggle the LED 1 with a delay of 100 milliseconds. Add this line before the while 1 to turn off all the LEDs at startup then compile the program and observe the output of simulation. You can see the two LEDs are off and we write a simple program only for switch 1. So when we will press this switch 1 the LED 1 will start toggling because when we press the switch this will provide a low signal to the pin of microcontroller and we are using RB4 pin. We write a program that if the switch 1 is equal to 0 then start toggling the LED 1. Now I add another block of code where I will check for the switch 2. The condition will be if switch 2 is equal to 1 then start toggling the LED 2 with the delay of 100 milliseconds. Now we have the program to monitor the state of two switches. So if I press the switch 1 it will start toggling the LED 1 and if I press the switch 2 it will start toggling the LED 2. I will turn on the LED when I press the switch and I will turn off the LED when I release that switch. For that I will use else with if. Now I am using if with else and when the switch is pressed the LED 1 will activate for switch 1 and if I release the switch 1 due to this else condition the LED 1 will turn off. So same for switch 2 when the switch 2 is pressed the LED 2 will on and if I release the switch 2 the LED 2 will turn off. Now on simulation when we press the switch 1 it will turn on the LED 1 and if we release the switch 1 it will turn off the LED 1. So we are not getting the toggling effect because we changed the program. If I press the switch 2 it will 
turn on the LED 2 and if I release the switch 2 it will turn off the LED 2. So guys we can connect a switch to a microcontroller in pull up or pull down configuration. So for pull up we have to check a zero state of the switch when we press the switch and for a pull down configuration we have to check for a high state for that switch. You can write any instruction inside the body of if so when the condition is true the system will execute all the instructions under the body of if. So thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe my channel.